here you come. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here you come, and you're entering this big arena. And the arena is filled with demons. And they're growling and they're, they're communicating with each other and scheming on how they're going to bring a whole lot of people down and how they're going to trick them and connive with them and lie to them. And they're getting all their little plans lined up. And here you come in the midst of them. Would they know who you were? Would those demons recognize you? Or would they just think you were part of the clan? Would a demon recognize you? That is my question. Would you cause a demon to think twice before he messed with somebody that you knew? Or would the demon look at you and start cracking up laughing? gotta be joking what are you doing in here boy would tear you up you ain't about nothing what you supposed to be doing in here you supposed to be doing something oh you gotta be you gotta be out of your mind talking out the side of your neck after the way you acted last night and what you did yesterday oh come on man there's no way you can even think that we would take you seriously now if your neighbor sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so came up around here we'd be gone in the new york minute but you please now if that would be the demon's attitude i think you need to uh uh I think you need to get a checkup from the Lord. I really do. Because when demons recognize you, really recognize you, as a bona fide born again Christian with authority, with power, living a holy lifestyle, they get nervous. You're not afraid of them. They're afraid of you. But if they laugh when you walk in the room, and they're like, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, back to what I was saying. That's a bad sign. There's a scripture in the Bible that talks about, I, I'm not sure what book it, it's in, so I'm going to leave that alone. But there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about how these the, the disciples were casting out these demons out of a, a man and another man was in their midst he was there with them and he was saying the words too he was agreeing with the disciples telling them you know you know telling the demons what to do and where to go you know what the demons did when they heard his voice they looked at him and said peter we know paul we know i'm probably getting the names wrong i'm just throwing them out there but who are you <laughs> Oh, I got something for you. I mean, they jumped all over him, and he went running out there like a crazy man. Ah! Can you imagine? Can you imagine thinking you got it like that, and the demon's putting you in your place? Huh. That's a scary place to be. Double check where you are with the Lord before you try to take anything on that belongs to God that pertains to God, that deals with anything that opposes God, watch your step. And if you're stepping sideways, get it together. As James Brown used to say, get on the good foot.